This is a video demonstration of the Botley robot. The Botley also comes with 77 pieces in the activity set. I have modified the cards, the command cards, in this activity set to so that my arrow cards um, have tactile graphics on them for students that are visually impaired. My down arrows, I've added foam red arrows going down. My up arrow is a slick material and it is um, in the up arrow position. And then the right arrow is a blue foam piece and the left arrow is that same slick material pointing to the left. The back of the cards also have additional commands so you can write, um, you can modify the back of the cards as well as the front or in my case I have just done the front. There are more cards than what's being shown here. Well, let's go take a look at the Botley itself. So the Botley, if I turn him over, he has a switch. The bottom position is off, the middle position is code, and the top position is line. I currently have him off because he does talk to me if I leave him alone too long. Um, then there's a remote control. The remote control has a big button at the very top. It's a rounded button, a half circle button, and this button is the transmit button. So when I add in my code and then I hit the transit button, transmit button, it sends the code to the botley and the botley performs. Below the transmit button are four square buttons in the shape of a compass rose. We have the up button at the top, right button on the right side, the down button on the bottom, and the left arrow on the left side. These are the commands that I can enter in to make the botley move. Below those four commands, the arrow commands, uh, is a row of four small circles. The first one is the object, identifying the object, detection button, the loop button, the trash or the clear button, it's when you want to clear your code, and sounds in case you want to change the sounds, the volume. Okay, so I am going to turn on my Motley now, so I'm going to flip them over. I'm going to put him up to code. Hi. Botley makes some sounds. I am going to write a code, and if it was a complex code, it's really helpful to use the arrow cards. So I am going to write a really simple code using just up arrow, up arrow, and right arrow, and I put those arrow cards in order so that I can confirm what I'm doing or remember what I'm doing here. So there's my